Hey everybody, uh, good job on the papers for week three on the Spirit in Galatians and Ephesians. Just wanted to give a brief uh, reflection as I've uh, now graded all of those. Um, something that was not in every paper, but that uh, many papers exhibited um, what I'm about to say, and uh, even if yours didn't, I hope that my thoughts here would be helpful to you. And that is, um, when you are asked to uh, reflect on a theme or a concept, in this case a person, the uh, person of the Godhead, the Spirit, in a book, what we are looking for is for you to become a biblical theologian. So, what is a biblical theologian? Well, a biblical theologian will take uh, the themes of a particular book, first and foremost, and he will exhaust that book before he looks anywhere else. Um, the work of a biblical theologian arises from the work of an exegete. An exegete is more concerned with uh, word histories, uh, how the word's being used in context. It's, it's exegesis, just figuring out what the text says. The biblical theologian goes from there to detect themes that go throughout the whole book and um, that really tie the book together. These are, are things that stretch through the book that give it literary coherence. Again, a concept that we stress a lot. So, to become a biblical theologian, that means that you need to go a little bit beyond what many of you did, which was to go chapter by chapter. Chapter 1 says this, chapter 2 says this, chapter 3 says that. Um, what we're looking for you to do is not to just notice what's said in each chapter, but to start to organize those uh, things that are said into concepts. So, in other words, what uh, is Paul really driving at with the Spirit in Galatians or Ephesians? Um, how can we, in maybe two or three categories, whatever it takes, how can we describe how Paul is articulating the Holy Spirit in this book? I think you'll find if you reflect a little bit more on um, grouping those things that he says about the Spirit into conceptual categories, uh, you'll find that what he says is a little bit uh, richer than what many of you initially uh, saw just by going chapter by chapter and not necessarily seeing those connections. Um, some of you sort of, uh, you got to the end and you said, well, uh, Paul doesn't say a whole lot about the Spirit here, but it complements what's said elsewhere in Scripture. And certainly it does complement what's said elsewhere in Scripture, um, but his thoughts on the Spirit in both of these books are uh, applied to a situation, uh, they are uh, coherent, they, uh, they cohere together within the book, and they have much to contribute to our theology. So, biblical theology, discerning the theology of a particular author within a particular book is what we're after in those essays. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, this video, uh, can only communicate so much in a short amount of time, uh, be sure to let me know.